Hi there, Liz Shaw from Shaw Lifestyle here, talking today about mindfulness and what that really means. So again, it's one of these things that's thrown about, be mindful and practice mindfulness and we sort of get it, but we don't necessarily get it. So um, the easiest way to describe it is that instead of being mindful, as in having our mind full of stuff, if you are mindful, you notice the present moment. For example, you notice if your mind is full of stuff and you do something about it. So you notice what's going on. You are more consciously aware of the present moment. Now that has endless benefits. So for starters, if you're more consciously aware of the present moment as you're walking through a field or walking in the park in the morning, walking the dog, let's say, you will appreciate what's actually going on a lot more. You'll, you'll enjoy it instead of having that to-do list spinning around in your head or whatever else is spinning around in your head. You'll consciously notice the present moment, which is actually a really nice thing to do. And that sort of comes into gratitude, which is scientifically proven to be so very good for our physical and mental health. You know, you notice, you consciously notice the moment and often that will make you feel grateful. You think actually, you know, this is really nice. It's, it's, it's a lovely park. I walk in every day, never even notice. Now I've noticed. Another example would be drinking your coffee. You sit, you knock back your coffee, you think you love your coffee. Five minutes later, you think, did I drink the coffee or didn't I drink the coffee? Because you were so busy doing 16 other things as well that you didn't really notice it. If you drink your coffee mindfully, you'll be fully in that present moment and notice it. So a good way of thinking of this is that you draw attention to all of your senses whilst doing whichever activity you are going to be mindful about. So if I'm drinking my coffee mindfully, I'm going to pick up the cup. I'm going to notice mm, that fabulous smell. Notice as I smell it that saliva starts to run in my mouth. That's a, a, an automatic reaction which we rarely notice. Notice the taste and the texture. Actually notice everything about that cup of coffee and enjoy it. Same thing in a shower. You can have a mindful shower and feel the sense of that water sort of washing down you, perhaps washing away stress and benefit from it so much more. Now, the other thing is that if we are mindful and therefore noticing the present moment, we can better notice if certain sensations are starting to come up inside us, whether that's noticing that there's some stress starting to bubble up, uh, a little bit of agitation, and therefore we can put steps in place to manage that stress. It might even come to noticing, mm, I feel a little bit out of sorts, I don't feel quite right today, and going and upping your vitamin intake. Just noticing where you are at on many different levels can be really powerful, first and foremost for your stress management. So any of you that have worked with me will know I talk about stress as being, um, we're like a, a kettle with the lid stuck on. Stress is bubbling away inside us and because there's that adrenaline going and we've got no outlet for it, if you're just sitting at your desk stressed about your emails, it's bubbling away, bubble, 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 the lid can't go off eventually, it will and you will explode whether that's into tears or anger or whatever. But if we can sense it when it's just bubbling away a little bit, it's just the beginnings of that bubbling, then we can put strategies in place. Whether that's going for a mindful walk or meditating or using essential oils, whatever it may be, there are many, many strategies we can use. But you've got to be mindful enough to notice those sensations bubbling up in order to put the strategies in place. So I hope that has helped to sort of um, clarify what mindful might mean. It's being aware in the present moment. So that might mean either enjoying and actually consciously noticing what's going on around you, whether you're out in nature or with family and friends and, and genuinely enjoying it, or noticing how you're feeling on the inside. Oh, uh, don't feel quite right. Or my mind is really racing. I could do with just a few quiet moments just to calm down. So even if we just look at those two sort of um, ideas of mindfulness, you can start to understand how very powerful it can be to be truly mindful on a day-to-day -day basis. And I would always say that mindfulness goes hand in hand with meditation. If you meditate daily, 
you will become more mindful naturally. And then if you put in a conscious practice of mindfulness as well, then it's got to be a win-win. If you'd like to know more about any of this, do get in touch. It's one of the things that I look at a lot in my wellness coaching. I would love to help you to understand it better and maybe to try it out for yourselves. See you soon. Bye.